Hello everyone and welcome to this special uh, workshop to learn about how to use Excel for statics uh, analysis. So first of all we want to start with the basic uh, statics that we normally used. First of all let us think that we have this is the set of data that you measure it for many times to detect uh, an allied concentration. So you want to calculate the average average for this one by Excel. So we have actually two ways. The first one by typing. The second uh, way is by this function here that you inject by insert function. So for example, when you type here and then you're looking for the average, if you want average, then just click here. Then it's what coming here. Then you can choose whatever you want. Then OK and then OK. This is the average. Another choice, for example, if I want to median, then you just click equal and then you start to write in median and then it's exactly it's done to bump. Click on it, then select the data you want and then click. So same for you. For me, actually, I like typing. So then you start to standard deviation. In this case, you will see that we have many type of standard deviation for as we use this one here, standard deviation. Same that you use it, see, see it here. So we choose this one, double click, and then select the data that you want to measure them, and then enter. Variances can also we can calculate, calculate variances that you can choose. VAR also they have many types, so you can choose this one that we have it. Want to use it? Uh, that is so easy and simple. So what about the Coefficient of variances or RSD percent. This one is not have uh, is actually not have any connection, so you have to type it by yourself. So as you know that RSD in this case, R RSD percent is equal to standard deviation on the average multiplied by a hundred. So in this case, you can see this is the standard deviation. This is here. The average or mean and multiply by 100 and then you can cut. So simple, so simple, so easy. The next step, the next step what we are going to learn is about how to use the t-test. This is very important to learn about how to use t-test. So as you remember that we, we get three types of t-test. The first one that when we compare the mean to the known value, compare two different mean, the difference for two means that and they are calculated on the same method the third and important one we call it bare data or that one we we calculate the mean for the two different method two different methods so let's start with the first one so first one i have it as you can see i have set of this data and i want to compare it into the known volume to the known volume so in this case in this case, I have it. In this case, when you want to comparison for that one, you you need to another set that is be, be should to write it as like that zero zero zero. Okay, perfect. So we go to data, we go to data, and we go to data analysis. However, what about if your Excel doesn't have data analysis? So simply you can go to the file and then go to the options, and in the option you go to add means and then you go to manage here and then you choose excel at the end and then go and select it this one you just click check this box however if even though that if you don't see anything here for analysis tool back then you choose browse and then locate it browse and locate it however if you cannot locate it then it may be ask you to install then you just follow it and install it and finally we can see it here and then this will okay and then you can see it here. Okay, so we come back. We want to compare the t-test for one sample. One sample only. We have one sample and we have a known value. So for this one, we will go to the t-test. It's called two sample assuming an equal variances. We click OK. So in this case, you have to select the first step, including including this value, including this cell. Okay, don't forget it. And then you choose this one again the second variable two and then here the hypothesis mean differences 
since that you compare to the, the known value, then you have to type here your value. What is it? So in our case, in our example, is it 20? We are sure we want to work at uh, 90, and, uh, 90, uh, 95%, and then you can select whatever you, wherever you want. And then you can click OK. So now you can see I got it so nice. So this is the average that I got it here. This is the mean of variances observation. Observation is the number, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so perfect. We come to that. This we have this two value that is important for us. So first of all, we can reduce it, and then we can make it, keep it color. So T stat, T stat is equal to the T calculated. That's mean T calculated in our theory, in our what we learned. So we compare the T stat with T critical. Since state calculated is greater than critical, then you can accept it. You can accept it. So simple, so easy. The next one, what about if we want to compare the next example, we want to compare the two, two different means, two different means. Same method, same method. You analyze your data in morning, and then you afternoon or maybe in morning and then next two days, then you want to see if there are any difference, any difference in the mean between same days or different days. We call it enter day and intra day. Intra day is mean same day and enter day is it different days. So in same same manner, we can go to data and data analysis, and then we choose also same, choose same one. Two sample, assuming an equal variances. And then click. Okay, then we have to choose the set one, but we have it, then we have to choose the another one. It can even so that they are the, the number, the number of variances is not same, also you still can use it. Also you can still use it. However, here hippo, this is mean difference. In this case, since that you want comparison between the two mean, if you remember when we set the null hypothesis, there is no difference, that mean is zero. That mean is zero, okay, and then we click okay. So we got it the whole data, as you can see it here. So also we can convert, this is the T stat and T, this is, this is the important things for us. So we come back to reduce, decrease it, and same manner. Okay, perfect. So in this case, also you can see that this is T stat is lower, smaller than T critical, and then in this case you will accept, you will accept yours. So let us see now another same example, same example that about what if about the T-test, T-step, but they have different, they have also full now, you make it all the day, you have it six by six observation. So it is looking how, how they look like. So is it also, okay, perfect. So in same manner, we call do data with data analysis, and then we choose the same one, two sample, assuming an equal variances. Same manner, you collect the set A, and then you collect this another set, set B. Where is set B? Set B is here, here. So same, hypothesis is no differences at the level 95%, and then you can choose it if they want them so, okay, and later on, so you can get them. So this one and this one also. So we can see also the T state is a smaller than T critical, T critical, and then here you have to accept the name except the null hypothesis that is no differences. Look at this number. This is number is minus. Now, actually here, this number 
Even so, that is not minus. That mean is smaller than t critical. And also here, that as also, that here we, as we learn in theory, that we take it as absolute value, so we don't care about the value minus. Let us look at this example. So let us looking at this example, it's same. So we want to measure it. Same data analysis. So we copy the, the set one. So same, no, no difference, zero at 95%. So 95%, that means alpha is 5%. That means 0 0.05, you know, that this is, I believe you know. So it is choose here. So as you can see that, Even so, if you're looking at, if you take into consideration that the, the sign that is minus, so sure, this is a smaller. However, as I mentioned, that we let, take it at up, so, up, uh, as uh, absolute value. So you don't, you don't, you don't care. You don't care about the sign. So in this case, in this case, is absolutely t state is greater than t crit critical. And then you have to reject it. Reject it. No, def, no, no way that they are similar to each other. And you can look to the mean. This is I chose the example to show you that it's so big. Mean. Look to the mean. It's, it's so big. So different. Twelve point six, fourteen point six, seven. It's, it's so big different. So again, this number we never. If minus minus minus, you don't take it into your consideration about minus. You should to always consider about that no, no sign. Perfect, so this is the, the second example about how to use it or how to use the Excel for we t-test for two different mean. Finally, that when we have to compare that two different method, two different methods, the mean collected by two different methods. So let us look at it. So we have the method number one. We calculate it, got it. This is the same homework that you got it. You, you give, you, I give you. And we have method B and all of them, they can see this different value. So we want to check that if our, there is any difference in these two methods. Again, two methods, totally different between two each other. So again, we go to data, data analysis. So in this case, in this case, you have to take bare two sample for means. Bare two sample for means. Okay, you have to take in this one. Click OK. So you take method A, six variables for observation, and that one also method B. No, well, this is no difference. At 95% and then you choose the output range. Perfect. So we come to here, see them. So we can see that t state or t calculated is the greater than oh, so calculated is a greater than t critical, and in this case we have we have to reject we have to reject it the data that uh, reject the null hypothesis. So is it not reject? And this is similar to what we can. So this is the simple way. This is as you can see, it's so fast to calculate it, and this is will help you to calculate so fast in case that you want to quick data analysis. This is how we use uh, Excel in, uh, in for find the, the basic statics and important basic for analytical chemistry. I hope you enjoy it. I hope really that you enjoy it and, uh, and good luck for you.